and uh, guitar in the other hand, and had cowboy boots with it sloped very much at the back, and I stepped onto the stage, went right on my backside, but I sat on the mandolin. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and smashed it a bit. I have never, I, I didn't want to get up off the floor. <laughs> The things that embarrass, embarrass me aren't like the things that embarrass other people. I get, I get very... Like, do you know when I get embarrassed? It's the weirdest thing. If, when people shout at me in the street. <laughs> you know what? You, know, you would think that I'd, I'd be used to it by now. Billy! <laughs> you know? I just, you, when I'm doing well, you know? I don't know! I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There's no book, you know? <laughs> and people who pump their horns often give me a fright. Because I'm, I'm usually deep in thought. I love being deep in thought and dreaming and da da da, walking along. Me! Hi! You know, and they're nice. And it's, it's, it's odd, you know. The, my favourite in the street was a woman in Dublin. I've told it in the States, it's the absolute truth. I was walking along in the drizzle in Dublin, and a woman came towards me and she said, Oh, Billy Conley, you're the spitting image of yourself. <laughs> It's a, I get like people say, Billy, you go, they go, I love you, thank you. Do you know what? Go. What, what do you do when they just call your name out? Do you, do you turn around? I don't know. I go, yeah, hi. I mean, it's a building site. You go, yeah, how are you doing? But it's just, but people, what people do is they go, hey, Billy! And you turn around and they, they would just walk in, they pretend they didn't do it. <laughs> So you feel like a banana straightener. You don't, you, you don't know what to do. Thanks. Thanks very much, whoever you are. You bastard. You've just broken it. And another thing I hate, a thing I loathe, because you know you're thinking about stuff, and it may be anything, your family, any, your car, blah, blah, your bed, your shoes, all those things you miss when you're away. So I wish I had my brown shoes, you know. You know, or something like that. And, and somebody will come along and say, cheer up, it might never happen. <laughs> say, shut up! <laughs> it was happening. <laughs> shut up, how dare you? <laughs> He's not very nice, is he? <laughs> <laughs> Comedian, not very funny when I saw him. <laughs> so, shut up, he said to me. <laughs> How, how hard has it been living a half your life on the road? I mean, it's great. You like it? I love it. It's great. There, there's nasty bits to it, but what you, you should concentrate on the good bits. There's nasty bits to everything. There's nasty bits to your gig. Everybody thinks you just sit there looking glam, talking about stars. <laughs> there's nasty bits you don't like. There's, everybody's got rotten bits, but the trick is to concentrate on the bits you like. You'll see a lot of show business, they really irritate me, show business people being interviewed and they say, oh, the travel, I hate the travel. Well, what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> Do you think the world was going to come to your house? <laughs> you know, uh, and there, and are there are worse things than sitting in a first class seat I, for 12 they're, they're hours. They're living at the higher or the, the Ritz and they're saying, living out of a suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you hang your stuff up? <laughs> I don't like to go on and on about that. I'm working class, I'm a welder. It meant a lot to me at the time, but I've been doing this for a long time. But when I'm talking eh, about travel or, 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 or this or the show business, eh, I'm, I'm very aware that there are coal miners out there and plumbers sticking their hands into drains, wondering what it is they feel at the end. <laughs> and, and you're saying, it's very hard work, you know. It isn't all glamour. It's terribly hard. And the guy with his hand up at Jane going, oh, really? <laughs> oh, my heart's broken now. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Oh, it's, it's, you see them all the time, particularly those older ones, you know. Oh, it's such a true. <laughs> I met an old coward once. He was the lovely man. <laughs> And what they're saying is you're a jerk, you know, because, because you speak like a guy, you know. Listen, guys, I met Noel, he was such a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> he probably was, but you know, give me a break, you know. I'm a guy out for a walk, shut up. <laughs>
do you think the travel ha did take a toll on your personal life, though? And it did, in my first marriage. Was it? Well, it wasn't a travel. It was... I've, I've often thought about Iris, my first wife, and you... You think how hellish it must have been because when she met me, I was a welder, and when our marriage broke up, I was the most famous man in the country, without a doubt. You know, well, Sean Connery will always be the biggest, but <laughs> uh, he was away Switzerland or somewhere. But you know, I was the guy there, did, and uh, and it, without a question, so her life changed completely. Com totally, she, she married one guy and was living with this guy, this weird drunk. Lunatic, you know, <laughs> all hair and famous and money and blah, blah. <laughs> and it must have been a nightmare. And so it had a profound effect on me and my kids and, and my children. It's had a profound effect. They've had a, a weird life, mm -hmm. you know, being being uh, the children of, of me. It, might, it can't be easy. Is there much you'd do differently if if you could have that time over again? Mm, I I if I would if I, no no no. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would go home more often. I w I, if, if, yeah, I wouldn't have stayed in pubs so long. Uh, but, but I don't know if, I, if that's possible. When you come from my background and are forced into the, 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 big, uh, the big spotlight thing, I just, a lot of rock guys do it, a lot of, a lot of people do it, you know, actors and stuff. They, sometimes you don't see them, they're in the room doing cocaine and all that, trying to... Because you have to stop this telephone exchange in your brain. Fame is such a traumatic thing when it first happens to you. You wonder what everybody's doing. They're all running towards you, you know. I said, last week they weren't, you know, and they're going, Bella! She what? I don't remember stealing anything. <laughs> It's, it's, it's nightmarish at first, and then it settles down and becomes very pleasant, you know, if you let it. When you think back to those early days when, when, when uh, Jamie and Cara were born, yeah. I mean, does it seem like you or does it seem like some other it's guy? It's another guy. I saw a picture the other day. It was very funny, actually. It was uh, a newspaper in America. Of, no, it's, it's one of those. You know what the Americans call a tabloid? It's, it's not good. It doesn't pretend to be a newspaper. It's a... It's a, it's a piece of crap, World, yeah. You know that stuff, the you know, statue of Elvis found on the moon thing. <laughs> and, and they're all run by British people, you know. Woman gives birth to rabbits, you know. <laughs> oh, you, you, oh, Brett Whiteley gave me, uh, he didn't give me, I, was, I, I asked for years and he wouldn't give me it. He had a, a cutting from a newspaper on his fridge door and I, I was in love with it. It said, boy drinks petrol explodes <laughs> and, but set into it was another little square that said win a ski holiday for two <laughs> but, but there's but these papers in america are all run by englishmen you know who are taken from the tabloid papers there just you know the real muckrakers but they found they were talking about my divorce but that was so long ago it was like 12 or 13 years ago my divorce and and there i was and Jamie was a wee boy, and, and Cara was a baby over here. Oh, well, she's 25 now. So that shows you how long ago it was. And I had embroidered trousers on, and, you know, the hair and the big face and my teeth there, and, you know, before the crowns. And, uh, and, and I was playing on the floor. One of those terrible fixed-up pictures that you think you should do when you're first in the show, but it's, tell you what, you kneel on the floor with your children and take the toy engine and go vroom vroom, and he'll look on you. Mm -hmm. You know those, and there we were, and I, I didn't know the guy. I didn't know that Billy Cohen. I, I don't remember him. Hmm. You know, I, I, I have no recollection of. I need, he was. I need you to cast your mind back because Audra Lyle's here, and she's got a, a question about parenthood. My husband and I are going to become parents for the first time, and I was wondering what um, experiences you had as a first-time father. Oh golly, it's, <laughs> I love it. Do you know that I love? But I, I don't know if I'm. Maybe there's a lot of guys like me, you know, but they don't like telling everybody. You know, a lot of people like to be uh, the thing that everybody thinks of that men are like. But I, I, I loved, you know, like changing my children. I, I never found that. Other people's children, I'm not sure. I've never done that. <laughs> but changing my babies and cleaning them up, I loved every second of it, you know. And I used to put their legs, my favourite thing, I would put them, you know how they're all bow-legged? So I'd put their legs together <laughs> and straighten them out. And, and they, they're all creases like this. This, this little chevron comes right up the body, but it's lumps like that. And you can play them, you go, brrrr, 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 
and they love it. And I love rubbing the soles of their feet together. Tick -a -tick -a -tick 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 -tick. <laughs> and I, 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 and I'm really good and I'm fast, you know. I love them. But I would say, if you're having a baby, get the baby into your bed, you know. And you won't, you won't roll over on the baby. If you're sober, you won't roll over. <laughs> Don't do it if you drink, you're in. But the baby, you see, you, you, I remember reading that they caught deaths. You know, what do they call it here, caught deaths? Sudden you know, infant death. Infant death, Sudden infant thingy. Death. Hi. The, uh, whatever they call it now. But they used to call it caught death. And it said there were no instances of this in China at all because there's no cots in China, right? <laughs> you always take the baby to bed. Oh, really? Yeah. Aye. And we've done it with all our babies. You take them to bed and they want to drink from their mama, they go like that, and then they go to sleep. <laughs> and then we've got a cot, and they're dead easy, and you can make it if they don't sell them. A wee cot where the, the mattress comes up the same height as your mattress. And you, so you put them on that. And, and when they want you, they roll over because they're heat-seeking missiles. They, <laughs> they even do it when they're sleeping. They know where you are. We used to do it with the baby. I said, watch this. So put the baby over sleeping. And I'd lie and it goes... Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> right up next. And then after a wee while, they want out of the bed. They don't want to be in there. They want to be in a bed. It's, it's steady. We've done it with all the girls and it's been a doddle. Aye. Just love your baby. Aye. You're going to do that anyway. I can see it in your face. They, I love the way they smell, actually. Babies, and I bite them where the neck joins the shoulder. <laughs> That's what I love best, from behind. <laughs> Do you shower with your, with your girls too? Yeah, when they were very small. Now they shut the door and I just, you know. Yeah, they, you, you know, like you're walking down the hall and you hear a mad rush to the bathroom door. Ah! <laughs> He's coming, he nearly saw me. <laughs> So yeah, I used to play you. <laughs> it's a sad time. And there's another terrible, beware. There's a time when you'll be driving your kid to school, whether it's a boy or a girl, and they'll say, Gay, hey, could you kiss me now? <laughs> Before we leave the house. <laughs> Why? Don't, don't kiss me at school. Oh. Can you Come just on. walk a little bit ahead? Yeah. Aye. <laughs> and handing them over to the system's hard, you know. Giving them to some big teacher and hoping it's not like your teacher, you know. Some, <laughs> some big idiot, some big psychopath, you know. <laughs> have my child and have your way with him. <laughs> just batter him senseless and send him home. Thank you, Charles. Billy Superstars of football are here on Channel 9. Thursday night, Eddie McGuire presents a look at the players and teams for Season 99 in the premiere special, The Winning Edge. 9.30 Thursday night on 9. Next, Nightline.